Hello, I'm Michael Hollick, and I'm the lead author on a review published in the European Neurological Reviews in 2015 on vitamin D deficiency and its possible role in multiple sclerosis. And the other authors include Drs. Cook, Suarez, and Rometta. And in this article, we give a broad overview about the importance of vitamin D for multiple sclerosis. There's very good evidence that if you live at higher latitudes, for example, above Atlanta, Georgia, you have a 100% increased risk of developing multiple sclerosis for the rest of your life if you live there for the first 10 years of your life. A study done in women for the Nurses Health Study showed nurses that had the highest intake of vitamin D reduced their risk of developing multiple sclerosis by more than 40%. There's now mounting evidence that in patients with multiple sclerosis um, that um, those on beta interferon respond better if they have a higher blood level of 25-hydroxy vitamin D, which is a measure of your vitamin D status. The recommendation to be vitamin D sufficient is to maintain a blood level of 25-hydroxy vitamin D of at least 75 nanomoles per liter or 30 nanograms per ml. In a recent study, in the beta furon beta seron study called the benefit study they've now observed that patients in the initial intake if their blood level was less than 20 nanograms per ml or 50 nanomoles per liter had much higher risk for clinical uh, activity for multiple sclerosis and also their MRI showed more significant plaques. So there does seem to be this relationship with vitamin D deficiency and multiple sclerosis. So the obvious question is, is vitamin D deficiency a health issue? And if so, how do you treat it? And in this review, we point out that vitamin D deficiency is extremely common in both children and adults worldwide and that to follow the Endocrine Society's practice guidelines for vitamin D, the recommendation for children is that they should be receiving during their first year of life 400 to 1,000 units of vitamin D a day. For all other children up to 18 years of age, 600 to 1,000 units a day. And for adults, 1,500 to 2,000 units a day. If you're obese, you need two to three times more vitamin D to satisfy that requirement. So in summary, this review gives you a very broad overview about the vitamin D deficiency issue, how it relates to autoimmune diseases with specific reference to multiple sclerosis, and it also discusses the fact that improvement in vitamin D status can have a significant benefit for patients who have multiple sclerosis.